Hi everybody, you are watching Vitorials. My name is Alex and today we're gonna talk about the text and path in Gravity Designer. How to create it, how to change it, and how to do it right. And first let's cover the basics. To start with the text and path in Gravity, you need to select the text tool or click T, ho hover over the path until it highlighted with the red outline. Then click with the left mouse button key to place your text. Gravity will give you this tiny orangey bullet that you can use to move your text over. Like so. Important things to know, guys. This text retains the all properties of the regular text object. So you can easily change the typeface, you can easily change the font weight, you can easily change the font size and adjust all the spacing options. Character spacing, word spacing and lighting in Gravity Designer. Guys, I have a good reading for you. You can follow the link in the description and read about all of these options, all of these typography basics in Gravity Designer Medium Block. Text and Pass also has its own particular option. These three guys uh, I'm gonna cover in details. So, if you place your text on the pass or on the shape, by default, Kravit will place it on top or outside the shape. To change this behavior, all you need to do is disable this outside option. So, if it's disabled, your text will appear inside the shape or underneath your path. First, then we have this option. Reverse. Reverse produce a mirror result. So, now this text is on top of my path, on the left side, and from left to right. If you click reverse, it will appear on bottom of your side, on the right, and would be the direction of this text would be from right to left. Very simple, it simply mirrors the text. This text is on the top of my circle and, and outside. If you click reverse, it will produce your uh, text that is on bottom of your circle and inside. So this is how reverse works. Another very important feature is the distance. But before we cover the distance, I want to give you some piece of advice. First, guys, text follow the path. If you change the path, the text would follow. Second, never ever delete the path. You can lock it, you can hide it, you can Clean out all these properties, border, fill color, and so on. But never de delete the path, be because if you delete the path, the magic would be lost. This is no more text on path, it's a regular text object in Gray Design. If you really want to delete this path and clean out your shape for production. If you want, for example, to send you uh, to send it to client, all you need to do is to go to modify path convert to path. It would create the outlines from this text, so it's no more editable. You can uh, you cannot adjust wording and so on. On one hand. You don't need to worry that your client doesn't have a particular font. 
because if he doesn't have a particular font your design will be rendered for, with the default fonts and it will destroy your artwork it's also prevent client to accidentally change the font change the position and so on and so forth so probably you need to have two copies of one single product one copy that retains all the adjustable text properties this copy another copy should be for production this copy i hope uh, it makes sense for you so guys let's move further and i am going to explain the distance distance helps you to control the vertical positioning of your text if you increase the distance while your text is outside it will move your text upward if you set your text to inside it would also move your text upward but to the certain point when your text reach the tipping point it would move back and move inside why it works this way i don't know but it's very handy option that allows us to place any text in between two circles and i am gonna show you how to do that in the second part of this tutorial so guys when you create a logo sometimes you need to place this text right in the middle vertically horizontally it's probably no brainer you can follow some guides you can play some guides you can uh, use this bullet and then change it accordingly how to do that with the vertical positioning so let me show you guys step by step first i have this small circle that has 140 pixels diameter second i have this large circle that have 200 pixels diameter the difference between them is 60 pixels the difference between two radius small and large is 30 pixels respectively 60 divided on 2 so guys select your with your let me point to select this small circle and make a duplicate with the clone command ctrl shift d or go to the edit duplicate then go to the with your duplicate selected go to the modify pass and convert it or uh, sorry expand or shrink expand or shrink in the open dialog box set the value that is half of your difference in this case it's 15 30 divided by 2 click ok it will produce you the needed circle right in this middle right in between of these two guys it's a good landmark it's a good hallmark for you to place other design elements and it's an amazing place to land our text grab your text tool and put it on this path like so next disable outside mode then move this move this text upward and notice where he reached this tipping point where he gonna move back in my case it's between 16 and 17 so probably i need to set the distance of half of that and it's gonna be a place where this circle bisecting out the text right in the middle i hope you make sense for you 
so probably 8 or 8.5 pixels and this will be guys ideal vertical distance for your text now you can of course hide your ellipse not this but this and voila we have a perfectly vertically aligned text here in Gray designer guys i hope you enjoy this technique if you do give some up subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends don't forget that we have graphic designer tutorials group and graphic designer users group where you can learn more about graphic designer thank you for watching have a nice day